and viewers of Theta. Tyler here, Chico Crypto, coming to you hopefully live. I'm checking it. I'm sorry I'm late. And Brian Williamson, I don't know where your girlfriend Kennedy is. Nobody knows where Kennedy is. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that early tip. And Narajan, too. I appreciate yours, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Bitcoin crashing. I'm getting down to that 60k mark, huh? Um, and some people are like, whoa, Chico Crypto, you're going to be doing a bullish altcoin video in the middle of this? Well, yeah, because I don't think this run is over. Um, I do think we have one more bullish push up left. And, you know, in down downtrends like this, it's actually one of the best times to pick up altcoins, you know, especially if there's going to be another alt season. So that is exactly why I'm making this video today. And one of those coins is the second cryptocurrency. That is Ethereum. Um, Crypto Hayes, if you guys know who Crypto Hayes is, Arthur Hayes, CEO of BitMEX, he put out his blog post since being released from custody, but in the blog he puts in a pretty good argument for you know ethereum reaching twenty thousand dollars this year if it just captures 0.5 percent of you know current monetary value out in that world it is a twenty thousand dollar coin this year so he has it all the way up to a four million dollar coin you know if it captures a hundred percent of that um, but he does see that happening, you know, especially this year. So cr pretty cool to see that from Crypto Hayes. Um, I mean, I don't like Crypto Hayes. He's a manipulator himself. But he he does understand markets. He's worked with some larger entities back in the day. Hey, hey, Womster, Chico, happy Saturday. Let's get it. Heck yeah, man. I appreciate the tip. Always in here, big tipping. Pero loco, you the man too, man. Appreciate your tip. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so Ethereum, in my opinion, is undervalued. And one of the big reasons is this bull run has been pretty similar to the last one, you know. Um, and in the last one, there was something called the flippening conversation. Very close. Ethereum and Bitcoin almost flipped, or Ethereum almost flipped Bitcoin. And became the number one cryptocurrency. There is a second push up towards um, beginning of 2018, but 2017 that happened, and we haven't seen that yet. And in my opinion, that's gonna there is gonna be another flipping conversation this cycle, um, and it's probably going to rapidly happen where Ethereum breaks out from I mean, 2,000 to 3,000, up to 4,000, 5,000, a matter of weeks, in my opinion. <coughs> Yo, -ho! Doge, you guys are crazy. Um, the bull run is a little bit insane, but um, I have a feeling we're right around here. You know, we are going to push up. But I may be wrong. But I do see what Ethereum's doing, um, and regarding, you know, altcoins within Ethereum, it's not only, you know, Ethereum itself that is pretty dominant. There is also DeFi protocols putting out large, large numbers here recently, like Uniswap putting out $4.1 billion in fees. That's not in gas fees, that is in Uniswap LP fees, that's nothing to do with gas. Um, the gas fees are up there for Ethereum, you know, that $34 billion is gas fees. All that is taken into account for Ethereum. None of it's taken into account for Uniswap. So, Uniswap's trailing Bitcoin, and here recently it did flip Bitcoin. But that does lead me into, you know, some coins who are probably good opportunities, especially if we go bearish for the next week or so. These coins would probably be good opportunities. Not Uniswap, you know, Uniswap's already been pumped pretty high. But the Uniswap airdrop. The airdrop narrative is a great narrative to see some big coins, especially if they are big DeFi protocol coins. You know, they're not just your random airdrop crap coin. You know, these are coins from some pretty deep DeFi developers. They're hype. They're known, well known in the space. And there actually has been a few of those here recently. 
But I want to get into that narrative. So each time an airdrop comes, you know, Uniswap was one of the first ones to do it. It initially pumped to $7.10 and then it crashed. And people were like, oh, I'm so glad I got out and sold at $7. Now those people aren't happy because it's at 40, upwards of $40 a coin. Um, <clears throat> that, you know, took a few months though, because Uniswap was the first airdrop, but things have accelerated. One inch is just pure proof of that. You know, one inch initial pump dumped down to 80 cents, you know, but now sitting over near $6. And that happened within, you know, a span of a month. And a graph, the graph did a similar thing. Um, not necessarily an airdrop just for people who used it because you can't, it's more of a developer thing, but they did airdrop to those who played with their test net index and did curating program, the curating program. And, you know, initially, same thing. High pump, back down, and now it's sitting at above $2 a coin. So I do see a narrative also with a couple airdrops that came out here recently. And we'll get into those. I'm just going to get to the tips. Hey, love your work too, Dr. Crow. I bet you're a good doctor. Thanks for the tip, man. Sean Red, talk about my coin later though at the end. I might, if I see it. Pixel Loop. Chico, the best I can say is Rarible. I like rare wool and I do hold a good amount. Thank you for the tip, Pixel and Sean. Deck Wreck, have a great weekend, man. Love the work you do. I love you, Deck, because you're always in here tipping and being a great guy. Ballin85, hi, did you check your link pool staking? Not working. Um, no, I haven't had time, unfortunately. Matt, let's get it, Chico. Thank you so much, Matt. Hey, man, you bullish on index finance? Yes, I do hold still my index. Um, I hold three index coins. Crypto Joni, I'm changing lives. I've been following you for years, and now my job is crypto coaching others. Hey, congratulations on that, Joni. Keep spreading that love. Thank you, Chico. No problem. Doobie Cook, there he is with the check 500. Just like on schedule. Appreciate it, Doobie. You demand. I'll have a doobie for that doobie. So what coins am I talking about, you guys? You know, what are the um, recent airdrops? Well, one I covered when it was coming out because it does take the original vision of DAI. Um, DAI has straight, straight away from the original vision of only using Ethereum as collateral. It's multi-collateral now. Some people say it may be better. Some people say it's worse. Worse. Reflexor um, and Rai, they came to do that bring DAI back to its original vision. I mean, it initially pumped upwards, you know, hitting 2,000. It's coming down, and it might come down more. I'm not saying this is a good time to buy because, I mean, the market's turned bearish. This thing's going down too. But I'm saying, you know, in the next week, week and a half, this could be a pretty dang good opportunity because it is hyped. Um, and you can claim your airdrop right now because I did make a video on this um, probably a month ago. Um, I don't have it pulled up. But... Basically, they said they're going to do an airdrop, and basically, if you provide liquidity there to their pools, you'd be eligible for it. So all you have to do is go to the app, app reflexer dot finance, and you know, be like, "Hey, my airdrop." It'll pop up if you connect to your wallet. So yeah, go check that out, you guys. Oops, did it go? Try one more time. So yeah, go claim that. And um, I mean, again, too, an opportunity. Because this is a low circulating supply, you guys. Only a million supply. There may be an opportunity here. This gets down into the $600, $500 level. But another big one that just did an airdrop. So if you had used the service or if you had um, participated in their Gitcoin, ENPS, EPNS, um, basically um, Ethereum push notification service. They did their airdrop here recently. And this one's massively hyped too. A lot of big Ethereum developers are excited about this one. Um, they got their airdrop, of course. So it's getting crushed. I mean, it's only been out for a couple days hit $8 peak, and now we're going down 
hitting 256 right there. Um, but this one, airdrop, if you are eligible, again, you're just going to have to connect um, and it should pop up. But now I want to get into some layer two, layer two, layer two, because again, end of April, beginning of May, some of the coins within this conference could have some good things coming. What was the coin rolling out quarter three you mentioned yesterday? Um, I talked about Dovu yesterday. Seed of, that's their um, version two of it. Hey, what's up, Virus? Appreciate the tip, man. Kevin Effin, did I see the NFT narrative coming back anytime soon? Of course I do. The NFT, it's no, it, we haven't even reached the height yet of the NFTs. I'll tell you that right now. Brandon Rolden, I guess I need a blockchain node to run a pocket node. Can I run my pocket node to your ETH node? <laughs> um, I don't know about that. You, I'm pretty sure you can run a pocket node out of a computer. But don't quote me on that. Akon, thanks for the Canadian $5 tips. Man, I appreciate it. <clears throat> Sam B, Chico, what's up? Can you check out Mars? I take tips for altcoins at the very end of the stream, Sam B. I appreciate it, but save that for the very end or it will just bog down my content and I'll never get to it. Ricky Edwards, Chico, best crypto insight in the space. Cheers to cyber trucks in the near future running on EWT. That is high, highly likely, in my opinion. JK, TG channel can ban me, but you cannot stop me from tipping you. God bless. Who tip, who blocked you? Send me a private message on Telegram. I might get to it. I get hundreds of messages. Or send one of my mods a message and they, they can get you back in. Hey, my man Chico, say hi to my wife Annie. Hey, Annie. Nice to meet you. I'm glad you're watching Chico. It's a good place to be. So, Annie, scaling Ethereum. There's a big conference coming up. Um, big one. Lots of big names coming. And this could actually lead us into not necessarily great news for my favorite scaling solution. Because this is a hackathon, you know, to help Ethereum scale. You know, it's supported by ETH Global and it has some big sponsors. Arbitrum, Optimism, Starkware, ZK Sync, Scale, The Graph, ZK Swap, Uniswap, Ethereum Foundation, Seller, Polygon, Taurus, Loopring Raiden, Connects, Protocol Compound, and a few others down there. But the scaling solutions you don't see there is XDAI. And why does this kind of worry me about XDAI? Is because, of course, you know, they submitted to the Reddit Scaling Bake Off. And the Reddit Scaling Bake Off is supported by, in collaboration with Reddit and the Ethereum Foundation, who is one of the supporters of this hackathon. But again, if you know they're judging their projects from this based off of this hackathon, it doesn't make total sense to me. Like they can't do that, in my opinion. Unless they have already picked these are, you know, one of these is the winner. They've already picked. Um but yeah. The reason I it's not necessarily bad bad for XDI is because XDI is supported by the Ethereum Foundation. Um others Matic has ties, um, Polygon has ties to the Ethereum Foundation, um, but only I think XDI and Matic are the two closest because BlockScout and Token Bridge are both recipients of ecosystem support from that foundation. So, one more thing too, and I mean this could not be good for any of them because there's this thing called Rayanism, which no token with this, and it's a scaling project that is focused around this scaling hackathon, and it's experimenting with merging and the shard, merging sharding the ETH one and ETH two test nets, basically merging together ETH one and ETH two. You know, so some of these scaling solutions might not even be applicable if this kind of thing works out. 
But again, I do think they're applicable. And I'm still holding my X die. I still think it's the best scaling solution. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me how Ethereum Foundation can't just freaking realize, do some history research into you know, some of these projects and find out they're backed by Binance. It's like, okay. Hey, Reinhardt. Reinhard of Chaos. Dude, you rock, man. Love your, the work you're doing. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate your tip and loving my work. Gaurav Nagi. Hey, Chico, am I still bullish on Alchemist? No, I hate it. You know, I just talked about it a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, it's such a bad... Yes, guys. Hey, Chico, do you think the graph will hit $4 by the end of this year? It definitely depends on, you know, the markets pushing up once again, but... If they do, another all the season takes place. That's not out of the realm of possibility, by no means. So, yeah, again, Reddit scaling bake off. You know, they do have some Rayanism. But if you guys did see, there is a sponsored tag within this um, video, and I do have a sponsor for this video, and it is Modify and. They are a pretty interesting project. So I don't like Oracle aggregator or Oracle. I I don't like Oracle competitors to Chainlink. But what Modify is doing is basically creating an aggregator for Oracles. So basically, it's taking not only Chainlink's you know data, price feeds, other Oracle solutions out there, and it's putting it all into one. So basically, you get an average. You know average price feed from multiple Oracle sources, so you're not relying just on one. And they are actually out into the beta stage, as you can see, pitch deck, light paper, and the beta. So let's check out the beta. One of the cooler things about the beta is, of course, they have six Oracles that are live for the Ethereum USD price feed. Chainlink, Teller, Dia, Compound, MakerDAO, Uniswap. And you know, it does show you the price of the aggregation of these six. So it's an aggregated, you know, Oracle price feed. So if a DApp, you know, wants a more accurate price, you know, between, because some Oracles may be off, some Oracles may be on, they can use this. Um, one of the cool things about it too, is it does dive into the aggregation, what happens with each aggregation, which I think happens every about five minutes. Um, and some oracles, you know, for Ethereum prices, they only go off every 20 minutes. You know, um, Chainlink, I think, is every 10 minutes. Um, so a more, you know, often aggregation is going to, you know, be more applicable for some DeFi applications that need prices more often. Um, so they go through the last aggregation and it goes, you know, how many oracles were validated, the deviation from the price, you know, how far was, you know, their average deviation from the oracles that got included in the aggregation, what was average, you know, away from the price that they came to. Um, stale data, data that was excluded, outliers that were excluded, because with each aggregation, they don't actually include everything, because there could be, you know, it didn't actually provide the data, stale data, or they may be way outlier, and no, that's, you know, can't add that into the price, or that will mess things up. So, it shows you, you know, with the last aggregation, what happened, and you can click into these to see, you know, what happened with each. So, this is actually a good Oracle research tool, too, because you can see which Oracles are performing the best. You know, Chainlink was included, Compound included, Dia no, because stale, MakerDAO had a deviation, Teller had a deviation. So you can actually dive into the oracles and see what's happening with them, which is pretty cool. And they also do have their staking and rewards live. It is live on, I think, three um, chains as of right now. Ethereum, of course, you're not, no, I'm not gonna like Binance Smart Chain, but they also did just go live on Phantom here too recently. Andre Cronje. And they do have some pretty cool things coming up. Um, they just put, they put out a Q1 recap blog post. And, of course, you know, these things did happen. The staking, BSC stuff, Oracle Aggregator Beta. But this hasn't happened. They said this is going to come over the next few weeks. 
to more partnerships and clients, potential centralized exchange listings, updates to their dashboard UI, a website refresh, on-demand production continuation, and an update of their circulating supply to OnCoin Gecko. <clears throat> but that is, you know, in the next coming weeks. In quarter two, they also have the on-demand Oracle beta, validator onboarding the Oracle marketplace coming, and the initial DeFi dashboard design and demo. So, good stuff coming out for them, and of course, the links for them, if you want to check them out, their website and the beta are in the description. And of course, too, the details of our agreement are in the description. I forgot to say that. Gina Tron, hey Chico, what's your thoughts on Cargo X partnering with Egypt for bill ladings from July 1st? Google Navara ACI. Um, again, I'm not taking altcoin questions in the middle of my uh, content. So save that for after and I will maybe take a look. Hey Chico, what's your thoughts on XRP's court case in correlation with the crypto markets? If XRP loses or returns to what it once was. I, I don't like XRP, so... Um, yeah, I'm not even following it, so I don't know. Anthony Borazdin. Hey, Tyler. Love the show. What have you heard about Cash Tech K Token? You guys, save your tips for tokens for after. I tuned in when you had 76K subs. Congrats on the 226. Thank you, Raphael. I appreciate the tip, and congrats. Lino Thalmir. I love you, Chico. Always grateful for your amazing insights. To the moon, Chico, army goes. Heck yeah. Blazing some amazing alien OG runs while enjoying your feed. Much love, amigo. With you in spirit. You are my spirit am animal. Did proof of humanity work and did you get back your deposit? Yeah. Yep, it's working. Working good, Ken Sue. I'm learning some UBI, which is pretty cool. So now we're going to get into some cool content. So somebody were asking, am I still bullish on Alchemist coin? Well, am I? <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're going to get into, you know, what was going on with Lib Submarine. This is like a precursor to some of the stuff that was built. Not necessarily built, but ideas and things. This was a precursor for it. You know, there's some big names in it. Lorenz Bidenbrock, Stefan Goslin, Alchemist Coin, Lorenz again, Phil Dion, Flashbots, Florian Tramer, and Ari Jules, Chainlink, as well as Lorenz. And then you get in the Flash Boys paper, and, you know, there is Philip Dion again. There are, of course, Lorenz and Ari as well. But if you go into Flashbots and what they are, you know, who was stewarding it? Of course, Stefan Gosselin from Lib Submarine and Phil Dion from Flashboys. They have kind of created their own organization. And I want to get into, you know, what this organization could be doing. So this was just posted by um, Phil Dion. April 7th, he said, I have never been more excited about Flashbots. And they, shh, this right here was retweeted by Mr. Deanne. So this was tweeted, aren't we all an alchemist? And her, you know, firing up some crazy stuff with a person who tattooed themselves. You know, okay, he retweeted this, Phil Dion did. So who is this? Who is this girl? Well, this is Tina. Tina Zen. If we go back to the Flashbots white paper or Flashbots Ether research paper, there is Tina Zen. So connections right here. Stefan Goslin, Phil Dion re retweeting Alchemist. Tina Zen is obviously an Alchemist. Stefan Goslin is obviously an Alchemist. And Phil Dion, he's been doing this for a while, too. Um, if you kind of try to talk to people within the space that know about MEV and this crisis, they, he, they say he, he knows the most. Dion does. So he's been doing it for a long time. December 2018, here's him talking about MEV before it was even called MEV. Uh, 
And now we're going to get into some interesting stuff. So this is an Alex Manuskin. He's tweeting about Flashbots, and he says, Flashbots gives you superpowers. Here's a cool trick of gasless transactions made possible by Flashbots bundles. In this case, swap ERC20 for ETH without owning any ETH. Gasless transactions, you guys. Now, if we get into the Mist X backend, you know, Alchemist Coin, I showed this in the video a couple of days ago. It said, the purpose of this, the purpose of this web server is to bundle the front end transactions into blocks. Flashbots gives you superpowers. Here's a cool trick of gasless transactions made possible by Flashbots bundles bundles the front end transactions into blocks second purpose finds miner extracted value mev and then sends them to the miners through a direct connection in that video i posted on monday i didn't i covered this one i let people do the research this is what they said the third purpose of it to redistribute the resulting value gas savings back to the mistx users who submitted trades by eliminating their transaction costs and to the greater alchemist community by enriching the rewards pool for the crucibles so crucible holders are going to be getting possibly getting a percentage you know of those gas savings through this you guys and this is interesting because if you go back you see he's contributing to this mistx back end um, it was abstract algebra, of course, the ghost steps there, but also Don Vincenzo. Don Vincenzo, who are you? Who are you? Well, if you look at this, this is why things, I'm telling you, things are getting interesting to me. March of 2021, he created one repository. It's the only thing he's created in 2021 so far. Specific date, March 23rd. Remember that. March 23rd. What did he create? Uniswap V2 helper. Their helper contracts. He, you know, basically forked that. Okay, why did he do that? Because who, who announced Uniswap V3 on March 23rd? Of course, Uniswap did. So, very interesting that the guy working on, you know, Alchemist coin, Mist X, forks Uniswap V2 on the day that V3 comes out. You know, their helper contracts. Why? I, I don't know. So, this is some other stuff I found that is interesting. So, if you go into the Uniswap V3 core contracts, you can see that there's a guy that's working on them. You know, Moody Salem. Um, I think I'm out of... back right here yeah whoops move that over so yeah if you go into the uniswap v3 core contracts you know there's a guy working on this main one of the main guys moody salem um senior software engineer at uniswap previously google he's one of the main guys and if you go into v3 periphery contracts this was just created march 3rd you know Support swapping or minting without actually sending a transaction from the router. Gasless swaps and mints. This would involve creating a new EIP 712 domain for different actions. So, I mean, it sounds kind of, you know, exactly what these guys are talking about, you know? The gasless swaps and everything. And that's probably not supposed to be there. So now, let's talk about Mistex and who it could connect to. So a multi-sig, you know, holder for Mistex is Fiscantes. And, you know, Alchemist Coin, the Twitter, they actually tweeted at Fiscantes, you know, when they were talking about Mistex. Well, this is what Fiscantes said here, March 22nd. If Uniswap V3 won't bring gasless, MEV-resistant, instant IL-protected trading pools to that never rug and gems that never go down, NFT support and ops, perpetual Solana and Polkadot integration, blah, 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 blah. But Uniswap V3, gasless. He knows what's going on. I'm telling you.
And then this too is interesting. So Alchemist Coin put out kind of a roadmap, um, I think it was in early March, that basically went through what they were working on. And they said a Crucible front end, Crucible NFT artwork, a gasless dex. Mmm. Gasless swaps and mints, gasless dex, Fiscantes, gasless, gasless. And then. There was this, too. When Uniswap V3 was announced, you know, of course, you know, one of the guys working on this deck forked V2 and their periphery contracts. This is what the Ghost Step did. He did big guys, of course, at the announcement by Hatem. But then he said this in reply to it. Do I hear some alchemy is required? I take this as a hint. I'm taking it as a pure hint. And then, if you guys have not minted your crucibles in V1, I would listen to one of the multi-sig holders, a deep Ethereum, largely connected person, Fiscantes. Um, he said this, also imagine not feeling FOMO on crucibles V1. This was posted April 9th, you guys, only last week. There's still opportunity to get in V1. Um, because... V1 Crucibles are going to be limited edition, and they could do some different things from the V2. I don't know exactly what, but I would do it. Um, because there's some cool stuff coming out right now. Like, you can view your Crucibles. Um, yeah, I forgot what my name is. It's called, like, the Earthen of Eden. But yeah, these are all the Crucibles. And actually, it's in um, chronological order of when they were minted. So, I mean, I could scroll through. I think I minted mine on, like, March 30th or something. But that might, that might take a while. But yeah, each, you know, one is original. You know, it's, um, I think it's generated randomly what you get and everything, so that kind of stuff's out there. But now let's get into some of the good stuff. Charles Hoskinson, he is such a... I want to say so many things right now, but let's just listen to what he... I mean, this is pathetic of him, you guys. This is what a pathetic man does. A pathetic man. Recently, due to the efforts of Elon Musk principally uh, and market manipulation by clever whales, Doge has become stratospheric and it has become a haven for new entrants into the cryptocurrency space. Let's be very clear. This is a bubble. Uh, the price of Doge is not sustainable. It's going to collapse and a massive amount of retail money is going to be lost very quickly. And that's true of your coin, too, you sturdy, dirty, dirty dude. Look what he was doing just a couple months ago, you guys. This is from his Twitter. This was when his coin was surging, doing good. You know, not, you know, it, well, he was above Doge. You know, Doge wasn't coming close to flipping him. This is February 7th, you guys. Doge and ADA be like this today. We're taking down the markets. And then he t tweeted this. If this keeps up, then we will have to pitch a treasury system for Doge at Elon Musk. What you say, Starman, in a picture. And now he's hating on him? This guy is the definition of a snake in the grass. Snake in the grass. Fight me about it, Charles. Uh, the price of Doge is not sustained. The efforts of Elon Musk, principally, I uh, am... You're not best friends. I'll tell you that. Elon don't like you anymore. <laughs> you you ain't going to be part of the rich scene, Charles. I'll tell you that. You screwed that up with that comment. Yeah, no, proof of humanity. Yes, it did get back to me. What happened to the Coinbase token on ETH? I never said Coinbase token on ETH. 
I said it's po slightly possible. I said most likely they're going to do an STO, private blockchain, um, NASDAQ, private market. Hey, Chico, sending you some love from a wheat ganja farm in Covalo. Nice. I know where Covalo is. Do you use any crypto tax software? I got to do my taxes too. Me too. <laughs> Jojo Yo-Yo. I like that name. Um, Yeah, no... I've done it all myself the past couple of years because it was easier. Now, this year, it's hard. Um, I'm eyeing software. I'm probably just going to go to a person. That's my... I have gone from 1K to 7K with VET. Leave it to go higher or put 1K into BTC at this point. That is a very financial question, my friend. I can't, you know, tell you what to do with your money. It's up to you. Do your own research. Um, look at many different sources. Do I think uni will flip Binance and how high could Mr. Rise? Are we whole are we all holding a top 50 project? Um yeah, uni will flip Binance. It has flipped Binance before. Um I think maybe I'm wrong. Um yeah, well, eventually. I mean decentralization's the future. Decentralized exchange, all decentralized exchanges will flip Binance eventually. Um what else did you ask? Uh, Mist is just going to do well, probably, if those, you know, connections with Uniswap play out. And they do put out a gasless dex. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. And then him shilling his coin, saying, no, we're going to flip Ethereum. God, you are. Oh, so let's just play this oh, to finish it off. What Cardano was originally made, made as? This is funny. Game platform. Yes, in the early Japanese ICO days, it was marketed heavily as a gaming and gambling platform, which we can confirm below. Smartphone application games, online games, bookmakers, predicted markets, pachinko markets, public sports, horse racing, bicycle racing, boat racing, lotteries, casinos, online casinos, 100 trillion yen market. And just below, we can get the official launch of ADA. Pre-sale started all the way in September of 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, it's gonna do the same, you guys. It crashed ninety nine percent once. I mean, it's gonna do the same to your coin, Charles. You're calling the kettle black. So ask me your altcoin questions, friends. I I've read the Discord and tried to figure out how to mend a crucible. Can you do a vid on how to do it? Or have a link to better instructions. Um, I haven't done a video. I did it through the community alchemist farm. Um, pretty simple if you do it through that. I mean, it's technical if you're going to do it the, um, the other way. Through see, the client. Or command interface. That's going to be hard. Did I explore Globe DX Exchange? Why Combinator Alumni? No, I haven't. Oh, I forgot one thing. My altcoin image. I have not. Globe DX Exchange. I'm not seeing it, my friend. Are, am I saying a new uni is coming? No, I'm not saying a new uni is coming. I'm saying Mist X is, might be integrated with uni. Mist X just sounds like a, a, a feature. It doesn't, I mean, they are going to build, of course, a proof of concept, I'm sure, you know, but I'm sure Mist X can be just used across DEXs. Plugged in. Modular. Can you check out ERC20 cash dot tech? Coin was released at the end of the March and has a market cap of 2 million. Um, eh, ERC20 cash dot tech. I'm sure that looks like a link. Yeah, it's not going to come up. I don't go outside of crypto and I do not go to links, you guys. Um, not saying you would try to do this, but people could be leading me to things that could get me kicked off of YouTube. Have I looked at kudos since my last tip a couple weeks ago? Might be a good time to buy right now. 
Um, kudos. I. I didn't. Mining man farm management platform. I might have to look into it. Sounds a little bit different. Appreciate the tip, man. What altcoins do you hold the most of right now? Um, again, Chainlink is, you know, one of my top holds. Alchemist, you know, it did push up into one of my top holds because I got in at a nice price and it's sitting at a nice price right now. Um, I do need to do a, re a portfolio, you know, so I'm happy with the performance of that one. Hey, Tom Rossin, Morph, love the content as always, my man. I do like Morph and may have some content coming for them here soon. 71 million market cap. It's having its um, downtrend though. Hopefully it bounces off of that. It should. It looks like it's going to bounce off that, in my opinion. Could you explain why I don't like Nano? Um, da I don't like DAGs. No, I do like dogs. No, DAGs, I just don't see it. Um, I mean, there's a lot of smarter people than me, you guys. Like, I know there's smarter people, like blockchain people. I look up to those people. Um, they don't like DAGs. So if they aren't liking DAGs... No, I'm not going to like a DAG. They, they're smarter than me. They know more than me. They know that the DAGs aren't ready. Da DAGs ain't ready. They're... <coughs> Soon, though. Maybe. Soon. Are you invested in any insurance coins, such as BMI? Thanks. I'm up over 600k with your calls from 2018. Good work, Rhett... 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 Welch? <laughs> Rhett Welch? Um, it, yeah, one of the, my biggest holds for insurance coins is dip. I put my hand up on my hip. Um, but I do hold some cover. And BMI, Bridge Mutual. I don't hold any Bridge Mutual, no. I don't. Appreciate the tip, man. Camo. Hey, Chico, you talked about Soge yesterday. I found their website and it's updated. Soge.tech. And let's run mint some NFTs. Soge. Hmm. They oh soge tech they gotta get in you guys I don't go to links I can't just break it because you tipped me twenty five bucks I they need to get in contact with Coin Gecko and be like bros you have our long wrong website please get that fixed um because yeah I don't know you you could be just tricking me. I mean, it sounds like an awesome concept, like I said, but I just can't break my rule just because someone took me $25. Just can't do that. What are your thoughts on the Velo token? Velo, they got Mike Kennedy on board, one of the founders of Zelle. Um, I don't even know who Mike Kennedy is. Isn't like Z Zelle like owned by a larger entity? Hmm. 
Well, they say they're a visa, I mean, member. I saw that down there. Maybe, maybe. I have to look into it. Did I get a chance to explore Meta Whale? It's a solid gem. Crypto links investing. I appreciate the tip. No, I haven't. So, I am a daily content creator, you guys. So, if you see daily content, the day before I was researching that daily content. And the day after that, before that, you know, that daily content. My time is limited. Sundays are my only days. Um, and I mean, even now, lately, Sundays, I don't get fully off. So, it's crazy. No, not yet, but, um, maybe. It's called Kate Token, and it should be on CoinGecko. It's on CoinMarketCap. Cash tech. 96,000 volume, that's worrying. I mean, these merchant ones are going to get smoked by other people, you guys. I don't even know. Like, there's way bigger entities. Like, AMP? AMP is going to smoke cash tech. Um, love your opinion. What do I think about ICX, Icon, 2021? I've said my opinion on that many, many times. Um, I hold my small amount and I've held since, like, 2017, 2018. I need to find that. Cause it's on my old la laptop. Um, but yeah, I'm holding that just, you know, as I do see Icon doing decent, you know, in South, or doing well in South Korea. Um, but I don't necessarily see them being a large, globally dominant blockchain. Uh, I do see uh, them as a South Korean silo, and that's a valuable thing. Um, but there's more valuable things. Chico, can you check out Mars, please? First, Ethereum-based decentralized standardized hash rate protocol. Three million market cap. Mars. Oh, it's one of these hashing ones. I don't know about this. Uh -huh. eh. Hash rate tokens. It's like, eh. So once again, Cargo X. It looks like a solid project. I found confirmed information. Uh, well, I, I got tipped last time. The same exact thing, Genetron. I don't know if it's valid if Cargo X has a partnership with Egypt. <laughs> I have never researched Cargo X in my life. Um, I don't know. I mean, if they had a partnership with Egypt. I mean, that's not that big. Egypt's not that big of a country. But yeah, I remember it. Concentrate X for And it's been around for a while. But I do like other supply chain ones. I have my picks for supply chain. Baseline Protocol, Morpheus, UBT. Dr. Bucklesworth, thank you for devoting your big brain to crypto. No problem, man. Have you seen WCrest connected to Chainlink? Real low available supply and market cap. Dr. Bucklesworth, I appreciate that $50 tip. But by just saying, you know connected to chain link everything's connected to chain link um it's a good thing you know when they're using chain link oracles it means they're a smart project using one of the best oracle solutions but there's a difference between using chain link and a partnership with chain link but may, i don't know necessarily what they have but i have heard of w chris Yeah, 
equity offering. Dodo imbalancer. Tree West is seen on your radar. It's an NFT platform and their V2 is launching imminently. They're sending a people NFT painting into space soon. That sounds just ridiculous. Um, sounds like a stupid marketing stunt. Can't not, oh wait, I put the money sign. Seen that house. This is about as basic as it gets. Holy mshmikoli. They ain't launching nothing into space, I'll tell you that right now. Um, yeah. Alex Tritissen, thanks for the 10 euro tip, man. I appreciate it. Mel Russell, what's up, Tyler? Appreciate you firstly. I see sharding being a good concept toward the end of the bull run. What do you think about Zalika? Um, I don't know. Bad taste and left in my mouth from unstoppable domains and the centralization of it out the gate when they're trying to claim decentralization. So I don't know. Haven't looked into it since then. They may be more decentralized because that was a year, year and a half ago. My thoughts on Nexus, NXS. Um, I mean, this is again, I think their, their own blockchain. I think it's gonna be hard, you know, to do this. Without connecting to Ethereum. Hey, Johnny, Johnny Fur three, Chico, great content as always. Any thoughts on Method Finance? Um, no. Method. Hello. Oh, this is just like a, I, this is the same thing. This is just a, a fork of <laughs> Alchemist going. A few projects did this. They're just trying to run with the hype. Um, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Go with the original, I would say. Hey, hey, Scotty P Crypto, number one pick for a one VR game and one computer game. Bonus points if it spews blood all over me when I blow their heads off with the best visual effects. Plus, would you please answer the first untipped token request under this pose? I will try, yes. Oh, what about XTK? So, number one VR game, if you want, you know, blood splattering and stuff and, you know, um, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, probably. You get to stab the zombies in the head and stuff, and, um, Half-Life, Half-Life Alex, if you want, like, the best VR experience, um, Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades, if you just want to have fun, and one computer game, a PC game? Mm. Well, actually, this is a good PC and VR, so it's a kind of a cl cross collaboration. But um, um, oh, Star Wars Squadrons is pretty good. You can play it on 2D and with VR. And then what about XTK? Um, XTK is you know doing their own you know stuff with um. Muni V3, there's connections there too. I mean, Hayden did the big eyes at them. And the TVL, 60 million, market cap 18. That's pretty nice to me. I would, you know. Appreciate the tip, Scotty P. And everyone, you know, if you're watching the channel, 
Go give Scotty P a follow. Scotty P Crypto. Give Scotty P a follow, my friends. Okay, now where was I? <sighs> hey, Chico, what do I think about the meme coin narrative? People moving their money from Doge to Husky. That's stupid. Um, yeah, stupid. What are you thinking about Octo now that they're coming up with the KYC list decentralized launch pad and the crypto cashback extension? Price out of steel right now. Um, I do like Octo, and yeah, they're a great project. Newbie Cryptoobie, Chico, want to cook up some ETH? Heisenberg Finance just dropped yesterday. Yeah, science. You are the greatest. Alchemist for lies. Heisenberg Finance. That's funny. A lot of crazy stuff is coming out. I mean, I, mm, I'm i not getting involved with a lot of the new stuff because I feel a lot of it's, you know... <sighs> Hey, Chico, can you check out Soge? Yeah, I did. You guys, please stop. I'm not going outside. I mean, you can tip me as much as you want. 50, you can tip me 500 bucks. I am not going to outside links. Please. I am not breaking my rule just for money. Cash Tech is on CoinGecko. I already did, Anthony. I we looked at that. Would I rather make some Crucibles or hold Alchemist coin? I, I mean, it's meant to... to mit, to make crucibles with. Hey Chico, what's the best way to find a coin's TVL? And it's a good way to tell where a coin's bottom is. Is that you're asking the wrong person? I don't ever do TV <laughs> technical analysis, man. Um, asking totally the wrong person. Um, yeah, I don't do TA. I mean, I. A coin's bottom is just my feeling, you know? You look at the chart, and you see it was hyped, and it's, you know, coming down at another little point. I don't know. Like, right? I mean, in here, you would think, you know, the bottom would be. I don't know. It's hard. I don't, I, that's why I don't like TA. Chico, I made a bull out of you. Cheers, mate. Any thoughts on Atari? Um, it's a dying company that tried to launch a crypto. <laughs> Shawan's Jelani, can you look at Julbin Advise? I'm not your advisor, so I'm not going to advise you, but what the heck is Julb? Just Liquidity Binance. It has Binance in their name. What are you doing, dude? Come on. Learn who you're watching, and you know who I am, Shawan's. Why would you even tip me that? Come on. Take a look at L, and it's like Pokemon Go meets real estate. You guys, this is a bunch of just re ridiculousness. Pokemon meets real estate. Oh, this is... Hmm. I thought it was like Pokemon actually meant. It's a little more professional than I thought. Uh, I don't know. I may have to look into it. Hey, Chico, love your content. Can you take a look at Sync Network? Thanks. Um, I will take a look. Low cap. Oh, this is the Bond one. Um... Again, I like other projects, you know, in the NFT space. Yeah, I remember this one, um, but I have my picks within this space. Um, they're my picks for a reason. More bigger connections. 
I'm a big fan of your research. Has benefited me huge. Is CZ pulling one over us by launching a secret decentralized option trading arm of Binance named Bao? Um, probably not. That would be a lot of work. I don't think he has time to do that. But maybe. I appreciate the tip, Mark Stewart. The Canadian 3499. I don't usually do these, but check out RVP. Looks to be a good team. The CEO has some good credentials. I mean, all th they're not going to make him their CEO if he doesn't have good credentials. You know, he better have good credentials. Looks like a copy of Cardano. To me, like they're trying to make him look like some smart mass genius. Um, yeah, not a big fan necessarily. Layer one test net they only have. They don't have a main net. I don't know. Dr. Johnny Bananas, appreciate your five dollar and Herbert. And don't think I'm just trying to be me by this. I am just giving you my honest opinion just off based off first looks. Dr. Johnny Bananas, appreciate the five dollars, man. Yes, Chico, I'm holding Alchemist because of you. Channel is sick. Thoughts on refinance and if you think it's going anywhere. Keep it up. Um I people have tried to get me to look at Reef for a while. It's in the polka dot ecosystem, I know that. I like others. But Reef is, well, that's a nice, they've updated their website since last I checked them out. They got some money for a good web designer. Got their test notes now. Now I'm Binance. Mm. So yeah, again, I'm not gonna like that. that that's what they're pushing on there. Hey, Brody, you mentioned RSK using RRC677 standard. How do you feel about the team and project? Um, I mean, it's, you know, the best smart contract infrastructure on top of, you know, Bitcoin. But again, what I've said in my videos when I talked about them, I, I still think they're far behind Ethereum DeFi and it's going to be extremely hard to catch up. Not going to change my opinion on that because they are falling more and more and more farther behind. Jason Feller, ALCX, self-paying loans. What's your thoughts on this wonderful platform? Self-paying loans. Oh, Alchemist. Not Alchemist, Alchemist. Now, I heard this may have some connections to Yearn, maybe. Um, but I haven't looked into it deep. Pay themselves over time. It's a good concept. I may have to look into it. Deeper. Hey, Chico, have I ever looked into Polka City, a low-cap NFT project that is building a city-like finance in their ecosystem with APMs and APYs on their NFTs? Um, no, I haven't. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. It kind of interested me. It sounded okay. Because of, you know, owning a virtual taxi and stuff. I was like, that sounds kind of interesting. I want a gas station. Zenfuse to the moon, everyone. Anthony Bardazon, he likes Zenfuse. Hey, crypto god, can you shine a light into the bit cloud? Is it a scam, or as all the Bitcoin maximalists are saying? I haven't looked into it. Um, when I see like those referral thingies, um, and they're really hard to understand, I just stay away because. It's just, again, I don't know. I haven't looked into it, so I couldn't answer your question on anything because I haven't even, literally, I have saw the name, that's it. I haven't 
even researched a second of it. Millennial Insight. Hey, Tyler, hope you're good. Yep. What is your first pick for the next alt season? Damn you. Next alt coin season that has probably a chance to be the best performer. I talked about them. Um, some coins in here today. Um, I, yeah, watch live stream. Um, yeah, this, what this live stream was about. Altcoins that are gonna, you know, probably have a good end of April. Um, which I see, you know, markets picking up back. Probably around then we might go into a little bit of a bear cycle here. But yeah, some of these airdrops are gonna have their, get crushed here in the next week or so. Especially if Bitcoin dips under 60k. But opportunity is ripe with a few of them. This guy in the chat, Dev, keeps asking you to talk about Luxo. Thoughts? I'll tip for him. Um, I like Luxo, and I hold it. And I actually did, like, a fashion thing with um, one of their partners yesterday. I'm a model. Armando Ramos. Hey, Chico. What do you look for in a market top? Um, a market top. I don't like tops. I want tops off, and I like biddies. <laughs> um, I market tops are hard to call; they're impossible. Um, no one can tell you when the market top is going to be. I foresee this top being near 100k, but this 60k is kind of near 100k, you guys. Um, we could be close to it, you know, right now. I don't know. No one knows, except some of these large. Chinese whales. They know exactly what they're doing. Hey, Chico, do you carry Vesper? Yes, I do. I hold my Vesper. They have massive amounts of TVL. I mean, it pumped, you know, it's coming back down. I mean, my opinion, it right now would be an opportunity. Coming right back down to... I mean, again, you know, people are asking me about my TA. Well, here's my TA. You know, this is where it pumped. It's back down to where, you know, it pre-pumped. It's probably going to bounce off of that, in my opinion. I mean, did that here, kind of. Hey, Chico, any thoughts on build? Thank you, do. Um, yeah, build looks good. The DFOs, I hold um, not like a significant amount. I mean, but I do hold, you know, a chunk. And especially with the price increase here lately, the chunk's bigger. But yeah, I'm interested in those because it's... It's a modular and, you know, composable organization you know a lot of the dfos are going to integrate with each other to enhance each other appreciate the tip anthony and armando and derek and mike fb thanks for the euro 35 man hey chico for how do you guys <laughs> you want me to check out your soge so bad <laughs> okay, I will do this for you. You want me to SOG? Then CTRL5. And then SOG. Nope, dude, it's... I'm sorry, I can't break it. work no nope. you guys need to fix that you need to hit up coin gecko say fools fix my crap it's up 40 percent though so is i ah, oh, i feel so bad you've tipped me like a hundred dollars you want me to go okay They're trying to take me to Doge.
Yeah, see, you, even you you guys need to get into contact with your homies. Like, that's not good. Even Coin Gecko don't have you. See, and I can't even find it here. I'm sorry, guys. I can't can't break that rule. I would go to it if I found it on Google. Dale, my man, check out JRT. Jarvis is planning to bank the unbanked via Synthereum, bridging forex and trade fi to crypto. Jarvis, JRT. Jarvis. Hmm. Hmm. It's weird. I don't know. And doesn't you know get me excited? Synthereum bridging forex and trade fight to create. I'm not a forex guy either. So, Vesper or Rarible at this price? Um, I hold both of them. Mm, I don't know. That's a hard one. I may be rareable because I do think they may have Coinbase stuff coming up. Eland, not L. Oh. So it is Pokemon. The other one was, yep, it is Pokemon. It's kind of like the other one, too. That's funny. Um, Digital land owners. I mean, I don't think they're going to, by no means, take out Decentraland. But there could be, you know... I mean, Engine's putting out a multiverse, too. It's kind of hard to compete with those big guys. Zanny. Hey, Chico, can you take a look at Zero Chain? It's deep connected with Oracle. Um, I've heard of Zero Chain. It's a storage solution. Ocean, they're partnered with Ocean. I might have to look deeper into Zero Chain, see what they're doing with Ocean. Fetch AI, I don't like that one. Yeah, I'd have to look into their Ocean connection. Can I check out Dea? It's a decentralized stock trading on Ethereum. They were the first platform to launch a synthetic version of Coin. Day. Uh, are you talking about? I've yeah, I've talked about this one. Deuce. Yeah, I know. I know Deuce. I hold Deuce. Don't worry. I hold this Deuce. You can get them on the X die too, which is crazy. I know Deuce. Don't worry. I know it. Encrypted or broker. I, I don't worry. I know that. Why don't I talk about Terra Luna anymore? You pointed out the coin when it was a dollar. Um, because I'm not necessarily bullish on it. Um, it's a Cosmos ecosystem project, and I'm not too sure about Cosmos, what they are necessarily. I don't know if they're friend or foe. So I don't know if Terra Luna's friend or foe. FYI, Reef is a ch Chinese copy Chinese copy of Akala. Hope you're well, Breda. Much love. Hey, well, I like Akala. So, good to know. Thanks, Marv. 
Thanks for the work, man. What do you think about all these laser eyes? I don't like the laser eyes. That's why I never did them. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the laser eye. That's why I haven't done it. I'm trying to not be part of the herd, you know? I'm trying to take a... A different view of these markets than most because getting caught up in the hype is easy. I'm even to blame of it sometimes. When altcoins get moving, it's hard to not, you know, be excited about it. Cause, but you need to ground yourself in reality. Um, thoughts on Singularity Net? It's on the top of my list to research. I will say that. Um, I do know they have some big connections with some big players, and. There may be some ocean stuff, too, with Singularity. I've been meaning to do it. Hey, Chico, Globex GDT is not listed. Coming to exchanges on May 3rd, but I want to keep it on your radar. Well, thank you, Sir Sean Dota. I appreciate that, man. Mohammed Hafiz, thank you for the 20 euro, man. Hey, Chico, please take a look at Xerox Cert. Z-R-C-X-C. Mm, way down there. I would have to see what it does, but I know this has been around for a while, ZRX or Yeah, it came out in 2018. Tail end of it. I mean, maybe there could be a chance for a rebound, but I'll have to look into it. Have I seen the new dev protocol strategy that has been added to stake DAO? Looks very cool. Um, no, I haven't. The dev protocol strategy. Is it for dev protocol or for stake DAO? Because there's a dev protocol and there is a stake DAO, I think. Yeah, see? So who's it for? <laughs> you seen the new dev protocol said? I, I don't know, Jason. You confused me. Zad K, sorry for the stupid question. What's the main difference between synthetics and bow? Bow is layer two since um using sushi swap? While synthetics is uh, their own pools, pretty sure. I no, Bow's not only on Sushi Swap. You can use I mean, Bow's across DeFi. Um, the synthetics use Sushi Swap pool, pools. Or are they going to use X-type pools? Or are they going to use both? I can't remember. But I'm pumped because they're connected to Sushi. Sushi's been moving, getting... I think there may be a partnership coming between Sushi and Uniswap, actually. I think that they're going to basically shake hands to take on the centralized exchanges. Gary Palmer Jr. Hey, Chico, keep fighting for freedom. I will, man. Tell everyone to get their ENS name at app.ens domains. ENS names will be integrated into all D apps. Yes, they will. So get your ENS. Adam O'Brien, did Elon actually tweet Walter? Is that confirmed? I'm still trying to figure that out, Adam O'Brien. I don't know if it was him replying to Elon tweet or Elon replying to him. But Elon deleted the tweet or reply. Dr. Johnny Bananas, thoughts on staking Dot and Kusama on KuCoin's Poolex? I don't like, 
you know, centralized stuff. I don't know if that's decentralized. It's a decentralized service created by um, KuCoin. Hey, Chico, what do I think about API 3? Um, I, nasty taste in my mouth. They came, out, they came out of the gate trying to, like, talk hard on Stinky Link. Like, we're better, even though they weren't. Um, kind of like banned. Nah. You ain't better. What is funny, too is going back to the sponsor, actually, you can tell which are the most utilized, you know, oracles in the space because these, the ones integrated into Modify. Easiest integration, you know, you don't see API 3s. I mean, eventually they probably will integrate it, but it's not one of the most utilized, needed ones in the space. You don't see bands up there. Hey Chico, V A I O T Vi, ten million market cap looks undervalued, or is it overvalued? It's an AI project. They're shilling hard. I will say that. They're trying to say IBM did this. I mean, if it's true, this is severely undervalued, but... Um, I don't know about that. You have to read into it. Anyone can say what they want on a website. Is it true? It's a question. Thoughts on swap decks, SDX. Um, if it's just, you know, another swapper, I'm not going to be. There's millions of them now. Um, it's just another swapper. Master nodes, eh? Yeah. Looks like just another swapper to me. Rose Productions. Any more info coming on Dove? Again, guys, I don't plan my content. Um, I mean, I haven't. I just talked about it yesterday. Um, so probably not any time like within the next couple days. No, I literally just talked about it. Um. I know people want content, content, but yeah, no, if I find more stuff, I'll definitely, and I'm, of course, it's on the top of my mind right now. <laughs> Mike Zamal, bro, low-key, sickest BSC, XRP, Charles H, Fusion Project, funded by NGC, Waffle Swap, <laughs> funded by NGC, oh, man, yeah, that is probably the worst, you know, statement I've ever read but I'm glad you're kidding. Hey, Chico, please check out Foam. I have checked out Foam. I know what Foam is. It's a decentralized location services. Might be undervalued, some would say. I mean, low, low volumes. I know Foam. It's been utilized in some couple conferences. Built on Tendermint. Dang it. Hundred X coin backed by Ken the Crypto. Who cares? And who is Ken the Crypto? Hundred and it's called a hundred X coin. That's stupid. Thoughts on staking with Rocket Pool? Party on, Wayne. Talked about it many times. It's um, not live on the mainnet yet, but beta. Three, three. Benito PT. Only those who know. 
For someone buying for the long term, is it best to get in now or after the next crash if it's coming? Um, no one can predict the future, so I don't know. Um, my personal thoughts are, you know, we're going to have a, another hoorah. Um, but the crash is going to be pretty brutal after that, just like the others. When is it going to happen? I don't know. Is it going to happen? I don't know. But if things are like the other few cycles, it's bound to happen. Hi, Chico, big fan. Could you please take a look at Oin Finance? Oin. Thanks, sir. No problem. I'll take a look. Oh, there it is. Everyone's holding... Dude, I just noticed this so similar pattern with all these, like, you guys trying to check me to get you to coin. Like, 90% of these are rank 1,000 and below. All of you are trying to just get this random, you know, moonshot coin. It's not gonna... Literally, I will tell you right now, more than likely, it's not gonna happen. Anything that's below 1,000 and below is... To push back up is gonna be hard. This looks basic. I could build a better website than this. No pro I'm just being honest. If Cosmos is suspect and could become a foe, then Polkadot too, because I can link you to a video on Parody Channel where Gavin literally says they will be bridging Cosmos and Dot together. Oh, no! Oh! Um, yeah. I mean... They're going to do what they want to do, you know. Um, they're going to pull business deals. Gavin Wood's a businessman. Um, but, yeah. I like Polkadot more than Cosmos. That's no doubt about that in my mind. NNS, Definity, this is huge. Thoughts? I don't know what you're talking about. I know what Definity is, NNS. Definity, yeah, Definity's not out yet. It's probably gonna be a big, there's a lot of big backers behind Definity. What's your thoughts on Haven? Um, remember it from last time. HVN. Shut up. Oh, hi, Hive Terminal Token. Again, another over a thousander. That is just. I can build, like again. I can build a better website. This in this is super basic. Chico, how big are you going on Mist? I have a good amount. I like I said, I got in early and it's pretty high. So I'm it's up in the top coins of my portfolio. Hey Chico, when do you think XOR will bounce back to the all time high? Um, probably when the markets get going again. Thoughts on on shift or off shift? Um, never heard of it. Another th over a thousand. -er. <laughs> Again, uh, this is a little bit better website. I was gonna. The top looked pretty basic, but they got better down here. We're anonymous, but friendly. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Just a test net. Private derivatives. I don't know, it's about uh, derivatives. Um, if it's decentralized, that's good. If it's not, if it's bad. Joshua Clark, thanks Chico for the feedback. Either way, you've made me a killing off that coin and lots of other. It's an awesome ecosystem. You should check out the Anchor Protocol, 20% APY, Realist Crypto YouTuber, hands down, Chico Crypto. Thank you, Joshua. Appreciate the tip, man. Um, Anchor. 
Sounds familiar. Because I think I looked at it last time and I was impressed with their website. That's good. It's good. I mean, ba uh, the ba it's basic, but it's nice. Basic, but it's clean, you know. You want basic, but you don't want crappy basic. Tyler could create that basic. Looks not bad. I might have to check it out, Joshua. Hey, Chico, you are the best, bro. Can you give me a vouch on proof of humanity? My name, please, my name is Gobsy. Thanks. You guys, I'm not going to get that started. I know you would love for me to give you a vouch, but if I, I'd literally do it for you right now, I'm literally going to have another person. Hey, Chico, will you do it for me? I do not want to just be go trying to do hundreds of vouches on proof of humanity <laughs> for my live stream. There are ways. Um... Send me a message in my Telegram. There's people in my Telegram that are vouched. I vouch for people. It's happening. Baseline is seeking is speaking on ETH Alliance in a week. What are your thoughts? It's probably gonna be good. I like I'm the first people to cut one of the first persons to cover baseline, so it's gonna be pretty good. Kyle Joseph Buckley, I'm just joining, so hopefully you haven't already covered it. But if we're in all request mina protocol um i seen it coming out here recently i don't know if it's launched yeah it is it's out it's iou actually i mean mina has some hype behind it i will from some big names But um, I wonder how big the VC investment is behind it. Have I looked more into labs yet? Pretty significant correction. Might be bottomed. Bottoming out. No, I have not. Uh, this is a real estate one. No, I, I am eyeing the real estate stuff, but I haven't di dive in, dove in taking a dive into them yet because I haven't had time. Oh, yeah, box mining's on it. I didn't know box mining was an advisor. Ah, ha, not, don't like it now. I hate box mining. Oh, Centrifuge was a partner of theirs, though? Wonder how. Might have to look into it again. They just need to kick off this guy. He is not a blockchain analyst. <laughs> Hey, with Cadena, you see more into coin, Rosetta coin than it's personal. Just wondering. Um, because that's the reason I covered it. I mean, I didn't cover it, you know, because I think it's going to compete with Ethereum. Um, I covered it because it might be a Coinbase listing. That's what the video is on. Those are all been what my videos have been on. Um, I mean, Cadena, the low code smart contracts look in interesting to me. And if those can be, you know, cross-transferred to Ethereum, that's awesome and beneficial for the ecosystem as a whole, but I don't know. Early XTK Twitter callers like free liquid. Thoughts? Who's early XTK Twitter callers? I don't even know who they are. Free liquid. Thirty-six grand in volume. That's worrying. Binance promoting. Eh. There it must not be that smart. I just hate how they promote it on the front of their page. Like yes. Safe Moon 2021 20, equals XVG in 2017? Probably. I mean, I don't know. 
XCG was a total crap coin that got pumped. Yo, Chico, not sure if the other Super Chat got nuked, but how big are you going in mist? Um, I have a good chunk. I'm, it's up in my top coins. Appreciate the tip, man, for the beer. What's your thoughts on Moonbeam? It looks good, like a good smart contract blockchain for Polkadot. A little bit more bullish on Edgeware because they've been doing it longer, but Moonbeam is the second choice. Can I suggest any game on the blockchain for a seven-year-old kid? Maybe earn some pocket money? Um, I mean, I'm not a blockchain gamer. I wish I could do more blockchain gaming, but time is again slim to none. Research. Um, whew, seven-year-old kid. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't, can't think of one even off the top of my head. Yeah. Mm, maybe Decentraland. But, yeah, that probably wouldn't be good for a seven-year-old. Can I check out X5? They're doing their LG now. Is it their earning? If they're in ICO, I don't want to cover them, you guys. I mean... That's just you trying to get us to go to look at their LG event to get them more people. I don't want to cover ICOs. Are you signed up to any launch pads like DuckDow? No. That again goes into ICOs. NNS is a system Definity runs on. Pre-reg Genesis event now. Definity website. Okay. Again, that's an ICO. Hey, Chico, have you seen the play index by PyDAO? Are you talking about PyDAO or PyDAO? I haven't seen the newest index from them, but I do hold some pie. Some dough. Oh, nice one. Oh, it's a blockchain gaming one. Nice. I didn't know that. Cool. In NFT and gaming. Thoughts on DeFi Dollar DFD founded by Xmatic and X Google engineers. Um, okay, you learn who you're talking to. I don't like Matic or Binance. Um, Xmatic, X Google and Badger. DFD. Yeah, there's other stable coin projects I'm way more bullish on. What do you think, Chico, when DeFi season fire up? We are in the middle of it, Greeks. If you do not see that, I do not know how to help you. General Collins. Thanks, Chico. No problem, man. Sup, Swope. Thoughts on BCL. Website and token 2. T-shirt. NFTs like Uniswap. Entire army supporting it. There will be rap at launch. Anti-BSC. Thoughts on BC... Uh, my, my website... I like my website. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. It's coming soon. Hopefully within the next week or two. Please, 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 please. Um, yeah, because I've been being told it's going to be a week or two for four months now. Shawans Jelani. OG insiders are planning to crack BTC. Oh, no, they aren't. They can't. PC, is Wayne single? Yeah, he is. He is single. Red T2 Mingle. Oh, Emmy thinks Wayne's cute? Wayne, you hear that? He's, he's blushing right now. No problem, PC. Thank you for the tip. And Wayne appreciates it, too. Hey, first ever super chat from myself. Blaze it, Chico. Have you heard of OVR? It's on iOS and Android. Looks pretty dope. AR game. Um, again, this gets into 
me that I know AR, VR, I'm in to both crypto and the VR industry. I research, I'm on the subreddits and stuff. I research. No one's talking about any of this. Any crypto, VR, AR project, no one. Not a l no. These are just, in my opinion, that's where these are. I mean, there was one I actually covered back in 2017. I forget what it's called. It's probably not even on here anymore. But it was a VR one because I thought, you know, hey, VR sounds good. You know, VR, crypto. Uh, no, no, v it's way off. I mean, you need to get a Metaverse. They've already built out Metaverse to implement VR um, that has users within it, um, the central land. I mean, getting users is the hardest part. I appreciate your tip and your first one, but I'm, I just, I don't see it. Michael Dempsey, appreciate your tip and saying I'm amazing, man. You are amazing. Do you have a video on EWT staking? No, um, I don't. Am I bullish on Rarible? Yes, I am. I made a few videos on it. One of the first videos, not videos, YouTubers to cover it in a video. Hey, Chico, thoughts on Paypal Latonia EPAN? Thank you. Never heard of it. it. Sounds like it's one of these ones that are way down there, just from the name. Sounds like it's a pay token trying to do payments, and it's going to have a basic website. How good am I, dude? <laughs> yeah, I would get the freaking licking out of there. Hey, Chico, thanks for your awesome content. Any thoughts on unique photo? Photo, greets from Antwerp. Greetings from Chico. Um... This one's far down too. A photo NFT. Hmm. Again, you know, it's a marketplace, but why can't you just integrate this into the other bigger, you know, marketplaces? Uh, I don't know. But I guess you do niche marketplace. Eh, but is that worth, you know, multi-millions? Hundreds of millions? Probably not. Hey, Chico, long-time follower. I was wondering your thoughts on Unlock Protocol, UDT, for plugging into my website for mem memberships. I haven't looked into it yet. Um, a lot of people, it's been chilled lately, UDT. And, I mean, of course, a lot of people in the comments are asking about it because they got it shilled to them. Um, and, I don't know. It'll, it'll probably be fine if it has the Coinbase connections. But I haven't looked into it regarding, you know, what it is, so I can't answer that question. XOR, bow, peace swap. If you had to marry one, hold, bang, one, trade, murder, one, dump, what are your picks? Um, I'm holding my XOR. Um, I'm banging bow. And no, I don't want, I want them all. Because I don't have any peace swap per se yet. But I don't have any bow. I haven't got my, yeah, I don't know. That's too hard to add. Don't ask me questions like that, Adam. You're in the VR industry? Please explain. I'm involved in the VR industry, just like I'm involved in crypto. I'm not an influencer or anything. No, I don't have time to do that. But I study it. I understand it. I know what's going on within it. Um, none of these projects, cryptocurrencies, are involved with actual VR or AR. None. Not a single one. Yeah, not a single one. Hey, Chico, you're, you're still bullish on Luxo? I am. Yes, I still hold it. 
Thoughts on OGN? We, um, it looks good, you know. They have a lot of NFT partnerships coming up with some bigger entities. And, um, myself and my store is actually, um, in collaboration with OGN, so. Okay, Anthony, thank you for the clarification about OVR. Chico, could you please check out Trust Work? Trust. Trust Dow, Trust Works, Trust, Trust, Trust. Lots of people are trying to get that trust name. It's a Binance coin. Sorry, bro. Not gonna like it. It's just a Binance casino coin, probably. You doing the XOR bonding curve for the P swap? Um, if I have time, yes, probably I should. I need someone to manage my assets for me, but I literally have no time here lately. Decentral, uh, Decentral Games will have a VR casino, that's cool. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Max Urum, American Rider. Oh, thank you for that. Um, yes, I'm still bullish on NFT20 and Muse. I mean, their volume is increasing over and over. So, Rarible or Vesper at this range? I already answered that question. I said Rarible probably because of the possible Coinbase stuff. Hey, Chico, thoughts on Hot, Hollow? Um, I talked about it, not a big fan. Um, I mean, they should have put out their stuff a long time ago. Lots of delays. Hey, Chico only got a thousand left to my name. What can I invest in? I only, I'm not your financial advisor. Please don't ask, ask me those questions. A Hashgraph HBAR, how undervalued 32? Um, I mean, HBAR is probably undervalued compared to some other coins on front page of CoinGecko or Coin. Coin market cap, coin gecko, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Dogecoin. I mean, yeah, H bar is probably worth more. Not worth more than Uniswap or Chainlink, but V Chain. Oh heck yes, Stellar. Oh heck yes. No, I don't know about Theta. USDC. No, Filecoin. Tron. Oh heck yes. You know, <laughs> it is. It is. I agree. Um. One person's late on the live. So I will do a quick little recap. Um, I did cover some airdrops that I do see performing well um, because of what happens with airdrops. I don't even know where these are. Pfft. One of them was Reflexer, Finance, FLX. Yeah, I'm probably not even going to be able to do a recap. And the other, it's moving down too, you guys. Because airdrops, they always do this. But these are good airdrops. Oh, this one's moving up now. EPNS. And then I covered some other coins. Alchemist coin a little. Some layer 2 stuff. Um, unfortunately, XDI wasn't in this scaling competition coming up. What are my thoughts on Gary Gensler? I'm not sure. He's, I don't know. I was still, he's smart, he understands it, but is he good? Thoughts on coin? Um, Coinbase coin? I don't know, it, we'll see. Greets from Antwerp, greeting right back. Hey Chico, thoughts on ZK Swap? Well, layer 2 platform, close to 2 pavilion TVL. Um, they're sponsoring the competition. It got hyped. It's going to come down. It's happening. That's a pump and dump. Already chosen all your web staff. How to apply? Um, well, it's not, I'm not li I'm looking for journalists right now. People who can contribute written media to the website. I'm not looking necessarily for like a web staff. I have, yeah, my developers and stuff. Um, 
not looking for, you know, marketing people, you know, I'm looking for a journalist, content creators. That's what we need. Happy Saturday right back, man. Um, thoughts on why the graph has been moving sideways. It just sometimes happens with coins, you know, um, the graph is solid. It's going to be a top cryptocurrency, especially as the markets come back to reality. SHR, token partnership with Tencent, BSN, and ID2020, staking end of the month. Um, that's not that great to me. I, I'm not a fan of ID2020. But I've heard of sharing. I know what you. I know what you're talking about, King I Trey. You, UBT getting Coinbase listing after mainnet launch. Um, I mean, Coinbase. That is one of the things they want. You know, you to be on the mainnet. You know, if you are trying to do your own mainnet, so probably would come after that. Chico, my portfolio consists of three coins: BNB, Doge, and BSV. Probably the best diversified out there. Nice, Kyle. It's good stuff, man. Journalists that will ignore any BNB coins. Yes, my web my website is not going to cover lies, cover a centralized database. Uh, we are blockchain leaks, not centralized database leaks. All right, guys. Well, I am going to head out for today. I have been, you know, on for a couple hours here. So, um, yeah. I appreciate all you guys tuning in. Um, I have so many freaking tabs up. I don't even know where that is. Where is it? Jesus. I don't even... There we go. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, I appreciate all you guys tuning in. Um, Monday, I do have a great video. If you saw what I was talking about in the middle of the stream, you know, Alchemist Coin and MEV, it's not about Alchemist Coin, but um, it kind of is going to relate to some stuff. So, not coin from Coinbase, ticker coin on CoinGecko. Ah, you guys, I'm trying to go. Coin. I remember this. It looked all right. An exchange you can't hack. I mean, it sounded decent. I remember. I'd have to look to see how it worked. Is it even out yet? This looks like it's just a video. Oh, I missed your super chat? Well, you should have asked your question. With this next super chat. What are you doing, Usher? Usher? I didn't mean to miss it. Oh, what about the Mackie airdrop? Did you mention this? Mackie? I didn't know there was another Mackie. Oh, is this for, um, who is dropping this? I think it was, um, Unilayer was dropping this. It looks like it's just dropping or something. Not much data. Appreciate the tip. All right, guys. Well, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Tune in for that video. Um, I am going to stream maybe five more minutes on Theta. Not much longer. Um, my ears hurt. I've had these on when I didn't even notice it. So, yeah. Tune in. Tune in me there. Hey Chico, why no AVS shell in despite the big IC3? Um, just not like I'm Ethereum. Cargo X, I've been tipped for that a million times. I okay, cool. Hey BW1 is just tipping me 25 bucks when I'm leaving. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. Tune into the video on Monday, and if you want to hang out for five more minutes longer, tune in on Theta. Peace out.